when I close my eyes, I can see Kerala. I can see Setu, who arranged everything for us. He was a magician. Setu means bridge, and he was to be the bridge connecting us to this different world, the bridge between reality and dream. We were a group of American college students studying for a semester in India. We spent our first month in Kerala, in the deep south. We're waiting. I can see all of our faces. There is Emma, with her flaming red hair. She once jokingly described herself as fascinatingly arrogant, but she had a real interest in people. I can see Jordan, who had the manner of a drill sergeant, but a soft spot for kids. Cal was always taking pictures, but was never satisfied with them. Actually, she wasn't satisfied with anything about herself, even her beautiful singing voice. Hal was a strict vegetarian. Wherever he went, he adopted the local customs and tried to forget he was American. Okay, I'll be going now. Okay. All of us can go. Well, where's, where's the bus? The bus is over there. Come, all of you. Hey, everybody, let's go. Come, Tara. Come on, let's keep it moving. Let's go. All of you can get in. Juliet was down to earth and liked to have fun, but she was a romantic at heart. Hey, can you guys give me a hand with some of these bags? Only the power to make me famous, Bill. Bill knew he was a great filmmaker, but was searching for a subject worthy of his talent. I can see Maggie. Beautiful, warm, spontaneous. Like it? Everyone loved Maggie. It's a present. Oh, thank you. Need a hand, Bill? No, I think I got it. Thanks, though. Help you out. All right. Uh, Maggie? You coming? Mark's father wanted him to take over the family business, but he had other ambitions. He wanted to write the great American novel. I can see myself sitting apart as usual. I can see Uni, but don't let me get ahead of my story. It was a struggle for my parents to send me to college. On campus, everyone seemed so sophisticated. I never felt I fit in. That's one reason I signed on for this trip. In India, we'd all be fish out of water. But that's not the only reason. I knew the world was a lot bigger than it looked on television. And I had a romantic notion that India would change me. Isn't that the way it happens in all the movies? Wow. 
That's the biggest lantern I've ever seen. of your post. If they serve something at dinner that you don't like, don't push it away and tell, I don't need this mug. It's your turn now. I didn't know what to expect. Dirt floor, dust everywhere. What do Americans know about India? I was to stay with the Thomas family. Tangame, he led a pair of the guest room. Acha, our guest is here. Mary Mole? Mr. Thomas was a businessman, a frequent visitor to America, and a Christian. Welcome. Please come. This is my daughter, Mary. Kerala is unique. for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you, Lord, for everything. In the name of Christ, Amen. I was supposed to play with my food like a four-year-old. It was kind of fun, actually. Am I disturbing you? Of course not. Why don't you stay and talk? I'd love to, but I have an exam tomorrow. I just need one of my school books. Mary? Yes? I'm sorry for making you move out of your room. Not at all. You're a guest. I wanted to feel at home. Thanks. Good night. Good night.
the culture of the people of Kerala is very ancient. The spices mentioned in the Bible were from Kerala. Trade with China flourished even in ancient times. People of all religions have lived cordially well in Kerala. Saint Thomas visited the shores of Kerala in AD 52 and there were Christians in Kerala ever since. The Jewish community is in existence here since the destruction of the Temple of Jerusalem 2000 years ago. The people of Kerala are highly educated and they are tolerant too. The rate of literacy is over 82 percent, the highest in India. Women are educated equally well. Boys and girls, they don't go to school together and if, as you say, women are educated equally, it seems peculiar that the mother in my household never speaks at the dinner table when we're having conversations. I don't think we have the right to pass judgment. Things are different here and we have to respect that. You mean to say that here it's okay for men to oppress women? Well, I'm not so sure I agree that women here are so oppressed. I mean, well, the mother of my family, well, I guess she's oppressed in a way, but it seems, well, it seems kind of... I agree with Carol. The woman in the family I'm staying with is a doctor as well as a wife and a mother. She seems really secure in her identity. But is it fair for women to have to carry that double burden? I wanted to learn everything, but sometimes my thoughts wandered. to this world, but a little frightened by it. Naturally, our people got under the influence and our women began to feel that they were inferior to the men. Our women began to eat after the men began to stand up when men entered the room. Suddenly I was put off by the other Americans. They too seemed like foreigners to me. To 
those of the Hindu faith, cows are holy. In every city of India, they're free to roam the streets. It's a journal. Helps me sort out my feelings. Do you know what Tara means in Sanskrit? It means star. The letter was from a student in last year's program. She had met Uni in a village just outside Trivandrum. He was very poor. They had become friends. She hoped that someone from our group would carry on the friendship.
Uni? Uh. Mood in the Chetan Uchunda. Never in Satima. Satima, I'm going to wait on the kid. Cynthia, it's nice to see you. You are Cynthia's friend. She's worried about you. She wrote a lot of letters. Cynthia wrote to me? No letters ever came. I thought she had forgotten me. I was sad. Now I'm very happy. I'm Tara. I'm Ona. This is Carol. Ona. Hi. My mother is very much happy that you are here. She gave us so much coffee. Because we are friends, that's why. We told Uni that our group was going that weekend to Cape Cormoran, the southern tip of India where the three oceans meet. He announced that he would be our guide. Bye. So how was it? We had such a great time yesterday. His mother was. That there. Saturday, we gathered she, at she the school. We got tables out in chairs and stuff, and we sat down and and we had coffee. It was it was really nice. Oh. His sister's so cute. Is she? Oh, oh wait, yeah. here he is. Uni. Hi. How are you? Oh, you look so good. Let me take a picture. This is Mark. Hey, how are you? Harold. Hello. I'm Carol. Hi. Maggie. Hi. Maggie. Nice to meet you. I'm Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. How's it going, man? Yeah. Juliet. Yeah. Juliet. Emma. Bill. Uni, this is Say Two. Well, come on, you fruit bats. Let's go! So our first stop will be at Mailadi, the idol maker's place. I'll stay back. Uni will be my deputy.
On the way to the temple, Uni took us to a place where stone cutters worked in the traditional way. Gods and goddesses are terrifying, for Hindus understand that creation is not possible without destruction. Hey, Uni, who is this anyway? I've seen him all over the place. Ganesh, the elephant-headed god, the son of Lord Shiva. Whenever we undertake a new venture, we pray to Ganesh. I liked Ganesh. He always made me smile. visit a temple to gaze upon the god and to be gazed upon. It was all very mysterious to me. You're always so quiet. I never know what you're thinking about. You just happy. It was late the next day before we arrived at Kovalum, the fancy beach resort, a favorite hangout of European tourists. Thank you. 
How could we all have forgotten Uni so quickly? Actually, I was feeling left out too. I was never comfortable with this kind of scene. Juliet stayed on like a groupie to watch the rock singer. Carol remained absorbed with her German discussing the aesthetics of photography. headed straight for the inviting surf. I stayed with Uni. Do you think you'll ever go to America? Many of my friends think. America, America. The streets are paved with gold. There is more opportunity in America, but I'm happy that Kerala is my home.
I've had a couple stories published. Nothing major. I'm working on some longer stuff right now. Being in India makes me think I could do it. Just walking around and seeing all the sights and sounds. It'd be really amazing to capture that. I'm talking a lot about myself, though. What about you? I see you writing that notebook sometimes. It's just a journal. I don't really show it to anybody. Do you remember when we were swimming at the beach that night? And Ernie was all alone watching us? It was really dark. Was he right on the beach? Yeah. Carol threw herself into her photography. She wanted to prove to Jürgen that she was an artist. Every evening, Juliet bicycled all the way to Kovalum to hear her rock singer. My dreams of love were making me blue But now she'll make my dreams come true She told a silly joke We don't have dating as you do in America, you know? I go to school only with other girls, and we're not allowed to fraternize with boys. When the time comes, Father will choose a husband for me. You mean you don't have a say in the matter? Yes. If I don't like the man he chooses, I can say no, and he'll find someone else. But I cannot go to Father and say, I have met a young man, we love each other, and we want to get married. Marriages have always been arranged in Canada. I think it's the best way. Maybe so, but I don't think Americans would stand for it. Perhaps that is why divorce is such a problem in your country. In the teenage pregnancy and abortion. When we are old enough to marry, we are still far too young to be wise. And we look for the wrong things in a man. And the young men, <laughs> they know even less, much less. That's for sure. How old will you be when you marry? Father wants me to graduate from college and establish myself in my career. Uh, get married when I'm 25. 25 without ever seeing a man? I can't imagine. Bill. Bill. Uh. This is Bill. Hello. This is Mary. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Are you really a filmmaker? I dabble in cinema a little bit. I love movies. Well, then you'll have to come to America. I'll make you a star. <laughs> oh, my God. It's getting late. I've got to be going. Huh. I'll see you around sometime. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Who is she? She's the daughter of the house. She's really nice. Nice? She's a vision. They have arranged marriages here. So what, no dating? Nothing. But I'm talking about love. Love! Forget it, you don't have a chance, Bill. Hey, what's to stop her from rebelling against her parents? I've done it. I've got it! She loves films. I'll make her a film so full of sensitivity, it'll knock her sorry off. I'll make a great film, sure. But yeah. what film? Betsy, you're a godsend. Come here, Betsy. Run along, Tar. Tell Seto I'll be late for class. I've got a strike while I'm in the creative mood. Everyone seems to have fallen under the spell of some love potion.
I don't know. I've been restless. I haven't been able to study. I haven't written in my journal. Even when I'm with Uni, I let the others do the talking. It's hard to talk. There is a cure for your afflictions. Tuskers. Tuskers? What are Tuskers? Elephants. I love elephants. It has been arranged. This weekend, you all will go to a forest where you can see a lot of elephants. Perhaps Uni will come with you. Bill had stayed behind in Trivandrum to finish shooting his film. You guys have a lot of snakes around here? Yeah. A lot of snakes. What kind? What kind of snakes? Cobras? Yeah. Do they make noise before they eat? Before yeah. They... yeah. Oh, so... Tell me if you see one. Setu had arranged for one of his friends to sing for us. Bidarum tamar malarinulil Bidarunil puvu nadan kumari Nartan madan kodi chen Kali, mutani mulle 
பூங்காவில் நிவர்த்திய முத்தணி முல்ல பூங்காவில் நிவர்த்திய முத்துக்குடையுடக்கி நெய்திரி சார்த்திய களவாணி கெழி நெய்திரி சார்த்திய குளிரேகிய கள காட்சிகள் சோரியாமி ஆடு நர்த்தனவாட கொதிச்ச காலில் காவியகுமாரி I couldn't help feeling a little jealous. Everything seemed to come so easily to Maggie. <laughs> ரி <laughs> It was a long, bumpy bus ride to the old city of Cochin, the queen of the Arabian Sea. Why do you and Jordan dislike each other? Actually, I really like Jordan as an individual, but I dislike his right-wing reactionary attitudes and also the way he really makes fun of people. I mean, everybody has feelings, including me. They all came up in the And how long ago was that? More than a hundred years. A hundred years? Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> I've been telling your friend that we have been in Kerala for the last 2,000 years. Scrolls. The Jews have all migrated to Israel from here. And we are just a few people left. This is the gold crown presented by the Maharaja of Travancore, 1805.
and these are the scriptures, the Torah written in Hebrew on parchment, sheepskin. I had never seen Emma and Jordan when they weren't at each other's throats. Now they were joined in the face of their common heritage. We'd be honored. Thank you. I was thinking about the death of traditions, about leaving home, about being alone. Perhaps Uni, too, was having such thoughts. Late that night, Setu had arranged for a performance of Katakali, the classical dance theater of Kerala. The play was about an old Brahmin who is so poor that his children go to bed hungry. He goes to the great Lord Krishna for help. He is too humble in Krishna's presence to speak of his desperate need. But Krishna recognizes his humility and rewards him. Suddenly it struck me that perhaps there was something Uni needed, but was too humble or too proud to speak of. Kanakam Shogatal Munnam Kanakam Shogatal Munnam Kanakam Shogatal Munnam 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 Adhiche Vichadil Unnam Back in Trivandrum, I went to church with the Thomases, but the familiar service did not comfort me. Emma and Jordan had discovered their roots. Mark and Maggie had found each other. But who was I? Why was I here so far from home? He was taking the examinations that would determine whether he would be allowed to go on to college. His whole future was at stake. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, Hal, what are you doing here? We got classes. We got classes. Remember that ashram I was telling you about? That yogi that accepts Americans? Well, I spent the last few days there. I feel really, really good as a result. Like, I'm at harmony with the universe. I'm going to devote myself from now on. From now on? From now on. I just can't deal with the group anymore. They're just too crazy. To say to now? Well, yes, I've, I've spoken to him about it. What does he say? Well, you know, say to. He thinks we're all children. Because most of Indian art, you know, is highly stylized. So you will find that stylization in the art of Kerala also. And uh, it, it, uh, they have a very idealized uh, concept of the human figure. It should be the personification of the perfect in beauty. Which is induced by looking Uni thought his exams had gone well, but he wouldn't know the results for a week or two. Jürgen finally called. I'm going to go to Kovalum tonight and show him my photographs. Can I see him? Yeah, I got them right here. Do you want to see them now? Yeah. You have to tell me what you think. Wow, wow. 
Jürgen said that he thinks composition is the most important thing. So, well, I've been trying to concentrate on structure. Tara, be honest with me. Tell me what you think. Maybe they're a little arty. Arty? Especially the ones with Uni and his family. You care too much about the impression you make on other people. If Jürgen doesn't accept you for the way you are, forget him. Oh, so I don't know how to relate to men either? Is that what you're saying? It's just I don't think it's right for you to use Uni and his family to impress a man. I'm using Uni. What about you? <sighs> Uni's not a little boy. Don't you see the way he looks at you? You're just leading him on. What do you mean? Uni's like my little brother, that's all. If that's what you want to think, fine. But just don't act so superior, all right? Bill had just gotten his footage back from the lab. He hadn't been able to look at it yet, but he'd talked Setu into arranging a screening at the film studio. And somehow he talked Julia and me into seeing to it that Mary would be there. So when's Uni going to show up? Wasn't he like, supposed to be here? He should be here now. This is you know, quite strange. Maybe he had to walk over. Uh, He'll come down soon. I wondered if it could be that Mary wanted to be beautiful for someone, too. Someone like Bill. Juliet had drummed up the nerve to ask her rock singer to the screening, only to discover that he was a friend of one of the homestay families and had already been invited. Me. 
so glad he made Carl it. Carl was right about one thing. Uni wasn't a little boy anymore. But if he was infatuated with anyone, it was Maggie. And why not? She was so beautiful, so warm, so true. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. But you uh, better save some of that applause for Bill. He's going to need it. Just kidding, Bill. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I have the honor and privilege of introducing to you one of the truly remarkable men of our time. And tonight, in this very room, on that very screen, we will behold Betsy, that buxom bovine beauty presented in her premiere performance. And now, the artiste himself will grace us with a few introductory remarks on his latest masterwork. Honored guests and assembled friends, I give you Bill. Thanks for coming, everybody. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Bill, for those memorable remarks. Stop. Cut. Cut! Uh, sorry about this, folks. The lab must have gotten my film mixed up with, uh, this. Is Bill all right? He seemed upset. He's just disappointed. He wanted to impress everyone. Especially you. I suspected that. But doesn't he know that such a thing is impossible? That there could be nothing between us? I told him that your marriage would be arranged. It's not just that. I'm in love. That young man sitting next to Juliet. His name is Martin. Father doesn't know it yet, but he's the young man I'm going to marry. We have it all worked out. Someday, one of my uncles will say to my father, there's this nice young man I want you to meet for Mary. And my father will think that he has arranged it. We won't tell him and he won't ask. This is often how such matters work here. We just have to be patient. Americans don't know much about patience. No. You're more direct. We Malayalis are more subtle. I think your system is more sensible than ours. Dating can be so confusing and painful, but it must have its rewards. That must be with Martin. I, I feel like singing. Let's go back inside. You go. I want to enjoy the air. You're going to need to look at my photographs. You just 
just wanted me, and I don't think he wanted me for my mind. I wish I had listened to you. It was such an awful scene. He was such a jerk. You just have to believe in yourself a little bit more. I know, I know. That's what I keep telling myself, but I just don't believe in myself. <laughs> well, thanks Mom. for being honest with me. Let's go. They're playing some music. I don't know what was wrong with me. Martin and Mary, they're obviously a couple. But I'm okay. I had fun. It was a nice fantasy while it lasted. like to give us a song? Come on. Isn't there somebody? Carol. 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 Come on. Go, Carol. Seto, I think Uni is in love with me. Of course. Uni is in love with you. But what should I do? I don't want to hurt him. A boy's dreams are precious. Girls' dreams are also precious. Do you love Uni? I never thought of him that way before. He was like a younger brother. Like an older brother. You must follow your heart.
I found out the result of my examinations. I have passed. I knew you will. Tomorrow I will go to pay my respects to my teacher. I'd like to meet him. to America and lose his bangs like the rest of us. But I wasn't sad. If I lived for thousands of years like the sages of old, I could never hope to be happier than I was at that moment, thinking of him and dreaming of the new day that would come when the sun rose in the morning. subject though what you seem to be saying is that there's no way we can profit from other people's experience and I don't buy that I'm not saying that I think you're overgeneralizing what it is I'm saying I'm saying if you judge somebody and what somebody else The ashram? the ashram? It's a lonely place. Yeah? Lonely. Say too, I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> oh, we're all back together. It's great to have you back. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, did you bring any oh, chocolate? 
Any candy? Yeah. You always carry Bites. candy. Bites. Yes. Hey, Emma, where's my baggage? Where's my bag? Oh, there it is. You're singing. Come on, Emma. This has got to be something. It's mine. Say, Tim. Come on, look at that. Say, Tim. Bye. Bye, Say, Tim. Thank you. Thanks so much. Look at this. Thanks for having me. Don't worry about that. Come on. Come on, guys, the plane's leaving. Let's go. Go, look at that. Thank you, Chase. Come on. 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 I think you can find it and you can find it.